this video, we will look at the different ways we can combine filters and their resulting member sets. Here I have a list of all products that are within the category defined by my slicer. I would like to filter the results so that I only see products with sales amounts or order quantity greater than the values defined in these cells. Since this will be limiting the product members that are returned, go into the product member selector. Under the advanced tab, I can see there are currently no rules on which members to return. I can change this by clicking on the drop-down and selecting filter result. I will first filter based on internet sales amount, so I choose this as the measure to filter by. I want the user to be able to choose the operator, so I'll set this as the value of this cell. In the same way, the value will be defined by the content of this cell. We can now see that the grid is only showing products where the internet sales amount is greater than 100,000. I would like to also see any products with order quantity greater than 60. I can do this in exactly the same way by going to the advanced tab of the member selector and filtering based on order quantity. Since I would like to return products where either the sales amount filter is true or where the order quantity filter is true, I will take the union of both member sets. Now we can see the grid is showing any products where the sales amount is greater than 100,000 or where the order quantity is greater than 60. So, for example, in this row, the sales amount is less than 100,000, but the order quantity is greater than 60. Since it satisfies the order quantity filter, it is returned in the member set. I could change the results so that both filters must be satisfied by changing to the intersection of both sets. Now, the grid only shows members with sales amount greater than 100,000 and order quantity greater than 60. I can easily change the filter values and the grid updates accordingly.